freaking time that before you get a barrel in the face, jackass. They have a rocket fuel production facility there where they take uninhibited, uninhibited red fuming nitric acid and they just spew it into the air. If it comes down on a vehicle, it'll take the paint off. If it comes down on you, it'll take your skin off. I can't help but feel a sense of, of sadness for, you know, people, even, even uh, the mentality of, of the Marines that were with me. You're not excited to be a part of killing. Uh, war is horrible. War is a, an ugly thing. And you don't have warmongers in the, in the military. You have patriots who are extending that that hand of of uh, help to, to to those who are seeking some type of refuge from from their current circumstances. And so you have that running through your mind. You feel sad that you're hitting threats, but yet these are these are probably guys just like. Like us. Right. He's saying in Iraq, the, I'm with Tassif, he's saying that the military, they really didn't want to defend Saddam Hussein. They don't like him at all. He's saying uh, they really, once after the first, second day of war, they wanted to escape because the biggest thing on their mind was their families their lives, their tribes, that's it. Not, not, uh, not Saddam, they didn't care about Saddam. He likes war, they feel, and, and they didn't want that. They wanted nothing to do with him. As things went on, we went into this compound. We, we were able to secure the area of weapons. The prison that inside this compound was a, a political prison of Saddam's where uh, thousands and thousands of people had been uh, tortured and killed. Um, a real gloomy, sad feeling going inside there. I had some of the Marines shut me in one, one of the cells. They got in the, inside the Ministry of Intelligence and uh, they had to make sure that it was all clear. And uh, Ammon said he went downstairs into where all the cells, the dungeons were. And he said the smell, he said it was just awful. And so he um, had one of them close the door and he said there was just a little glimmer of light coming down. And he thought to himself, you know, these poor people. Then he went up and there was a guard room and he took a few of the keys. He brought those home and uh, said to himself, I wonder how many people wanted these keys. How did these people just get snatched up for what they believed and thrown in there uh, and not ever know what was going to happen to most of them? If not all of them died. You're going to find Russian stuff here, you're going to find everything. If there was a profit to be made, somebody made it. Deutschland. Ja, Stuttgart. Sehr gut. Had two of the most crowning experiences in the whole entire experience for me over there was a man came out with. A close friend of mine, uh, Shane Barrow, he was in my team, came up to him and and said he was holding his, his little boy. And he brought his little boy over to him and Shane's telling him, get back, get back. And he says, and the guy was misty-eyed. He could speak very good English. And he came over to him and, and his little boy reached out and Shane stood there and said, he said, I just want, with the tear in his eye, he said, I just want my son to touch the men who freed us. And then uh, that same day, a uh, man came out carrying his, his little girl who had a massive tumor on, over, covering her eye and, and up on her forehead, and just gruesome uh, disease that she must have had, came up to another friend of mine, Josh Hobson, and said to him that I, I want my daughter to be able to touch an American before she dies. I believe that those individuals who serve in our, in our armed forces have a great belief and feeling and a, a, uh, appreciation for the values of our nation. 
of loyalty, of uh, selfless service, of dedication and, and duty. And because we have these types of individuals in, in our military, uh, our country's in good hands. Uh, there will always be people who don't like us, uh, who uh, seek to, uh, to bring us down as a nation. But as long as we have good people who are willing to sacrifice in, their, in, their, in the military for the nation, we'll be in good shape. So this was a, a really rewarding experience knowing that we had done the, we'd done the right thing. We'd initiated the, the liberation of Iraq and we had extended our hand of friendship and fellowship to, to those beyond our own borders. And that was just the beginning. Our, our coalition, our, our friends and allies that are there serving now are helping out the same thing, just a different phase of it.